Hello everyone, Daniel Werner here with a real quick Wernerware video. Have you ever wanted to edit binary in the command line? Well, there is a pretty easy way to do this. Check it out. Here we have the zip archiving tool. I've copied it into this directory and will now show you the binary inside of it using XXD. So, you'll notice that it's printed out to the console here so it's got three columns. It's got the line number and this is in hexadecimal and then you've got the data and then you've got the ASCII interpretation of that data. So of course many of the characters that you'll see are not printable in ASCII so they'll get shown as dots. But where ASCII characters are found, it will print them in the rightmost column. Now I hear you asking, that's great, but how do I edit this file? Because clearly there's no way to edit this right now. So if I clear the screen and go ahead and say vim, and then I say zip, now you'll see that I have it up in an editor. Now I hear you again, you're saying, well that's great, but there's still all these unprintable characters and they're presumably many different values, so what do I do with that? So we can go ahead and do colon percent bang and then xxd and you will see that you get to edit this document in the format you saw at the command line in Vim. So you can go ahead and do things like insert say 0000, .0 space and then you'll want to get rid of this what was already there and then when you want to save it you could go escape and then WQ but you'll notice that actually what's happened here is you've changed the format of the file. Go back into Vim, say colon, percent, bang, and then xxd, and then dash r. That will convert it back into binary format from the format that you saw that it was editable then you can save and quit and then you'll notice that it's back to a binary format. So one thing worth mentioning here is that if you that if you've edited this file and you've added something to the beginning of it, the end of that line will actually be truncated. So if you've added anything additional to this line here, say you just added all these zeros without then removing what was in its place, it just kind of pushes things off the end of this list here and what was at the end of the line is, is gone forever. So, it's not like you can just add uh, to the binary format as if it was a text editor here. You have to replace things as they are in the location they're found. Otherwise, you're going to have to find a more sophisticated way to edit the file. But it's a very handy way to go ahead and just change things in a binary file if you want to do this really quickly on the fly. There's a lot of more cool ways to use XXD, but this is a great way to start. 